Hey animal enthusiasts and pet hobbyists, it's Joelle here again. And today, I managed to catch a June beetle. All right guys, so I have the beetle in my palm right here. I'm keeping it dark so that he doesn't get too stressed out and scared. But I actually caught it while mid, while it was flying mid-air and it was like flying right in my face. But yeah, so here it is, little green June beetle. Now let's take a look at the um, body parts. So this top little carapace looking part of the body is known as the pronotum. Let me get a better view. So I'm not sure if there's much light, but this is a pronotum. These are the elytrons, so you can see how green it is. It's really bright, unlike most beetles that are around here. These guys are really colorful compared to other insects. Alright, so underneath all of this hard exoskeleton part is what is known as a flight wing. And under the flight wing, or the flight wing is what's used to help these guys fly. And I've actually seen some people, they use like string and they tie the, the string around like the elytron so that they could have the beetle fly. But yeah, so let's take a look at the underbelly. It's really shiny. These guys are really cool. And these beetles, their lar larvae, um, actually, they're like a cleanup crew. They decompose organic matter. And the adults, the adults like to feed on fruit such as apples, you know, and uh, there he is, you can see close up. Now I think the reason why this guy was down here was because he was might have been trying to get some water from the pool and I've actually seen quite a bit of these guys die inside my pool because they drown unfortunately, the bad part about owning a pool. But uh, yeah, so these beetles are one of my favorites because they're the probably the only ones out here that actually have color besides their typical dark black or brown beetles. And these guys are most commonly found in the Americas. Uh, I've seen a lot of people have them in Mexico. Um, and I'm not going to keep this guy as a pet. I found him in the wild, so I'm just going to release him after the shooting. But yeah, you can see it's really pretty. Green June beetle. And they actually look a lot like emerald beetles. They might be of the same species. I'm not even 100% sure. But they're really common out here in California because we're above Mexico and they're f commonly found over there too. Uh, a lot of people like to um, label the larvae of these guys as pests because um, sometimes they could be beneficial too because they help aerate soil, but uh, sometimes they cause too many tunnels in like the soil that I guess it is bad for roots of plants and things like that. But the adults, they are completely harmless. Although they have really colorful body, they're not like poisonous or venomous. And I think that's actually called a aposo aposomatic autonomy, where they look colorful well, actually, maybe they use that as a defense so that they look colorful and they could be poisonous to predators, but they're actually not. But yeah, so. There he is. Now I think I'm going to let him go soon. Let's see if I could get some close ups of the face.
and when they're walking on you like this it's actually for me it feels kind of satisfying it feels like little pinches when they walk over you you see those tiny hair like there he goes all right guys so unfortunately i couldn't capture the june beetle flying away or i couldn't do a good send off because it flew away before i could do it so yeah if you like this video please make sure to like and subscribe and i'll be trying to do some more wildlife and animal videos.